Markets which uh, emerge very quickly, which grow very quickly, such as the Chinese market, are bound to have a, uh, a reset, are bound to have a slowdown, show a slowdown at one point or the other. So I'm quite sure it will come. Uh, I don't think it will last for too long, but uh, in whatever planification we do, we take this into account and we don't put all our eggs in one basket. In China we have 20 Chopin stores today, uh, adding 10 more this year and uh, altogether there are 130 uh, Chopin boutiques in the world today. So um, we go both ways, wholesale and retail and uh, the Chopin boutique side is an important way to communicate the brand and to position the brand. There is uh, one difference uh, for this uh, particular market. Um, certainly the preference is clearly for the mechanic watches and for the more classical watches, which in fact uh, is a good trend because we have seen a trend towards classical watches all over the world. Actually, it's, it's something I like personally and uh, so the mechanical watch side also gives uh, even more meaning to the efforts we have made in the recent years to, to build the manufacture. Chopin is a family-owned company, family-run company, and uh, this is one of the major differences that we put forward as well in our communication. Uh, these values are very much appreciated in, in emerging markets such as China. I think major brands uh, are now uh, under different umbrellas and uh, what I hope for the watch industry is that we will continue also to see small entities uh, successfully uh, presenting novelties and, and pre successfully entering the market because it is an important factor as well. It's not only the very large companies or groups with the family companies and the smaller entities which help uh, uh, build recognition for the market.